about two and a half years ago, before this place was open, Glen Gordon he was mayhem. Like it was just out of control. There was rival fighting and gangs and stuff like that there. And it was all obviously because of the sectarian divide. The police were up and they were doing like a like a spot check on a house or a raid or something like that and our generation got stuck in it, turned into basically a small riot where there was eight land you know, like armoured land rovers up and there was a few petrol bombs. Glen Gormley was really, really bad. Like it was really bad for like sectarianism and stuff. Like from across the road down. Like I wouldn't have went down there, because like, 'cause I'm a Protestant, I wouldn't have went down that direction. And it was the same the opposite way around for the Catholics. And literally every Friday and Saturday night it was a war pass. Basically, because it's a community who has a distrust of police, what we find is that there are elements within it who will turn to armed groupings and look for them to resolve an issue under the threat of violence or whatever. So we were aware that those threats are quite, quite severe and very real. The kids themselves would say, why, what was it all about? But they were going by what other people was telling them. You don't get on with them. And then there was paramilitary involvement too, you know, didn't allow the kids to associate with other kids. So we decided then, well, it's time, we'll try to do something. If they'd been left to their own devices the way they were going, I think a lot of them would have been either imprisoned and young offenders or they would have received a punishment attack or they would have become involved in the groups themselves. From our point of view, we're saying is no, that's one, one, one. They're not getting arrested. They're not going to jail. Uh, they're getting some social activities. The community is seeing there are benefits. You know, like there's no burglaries, no cars getting wrecked. You know, there's no antisocial behaviour. People are getting on their lives. You know. The Protestant kids can now walk through this town centre and go to McDonald's. But well, it's a very, very small issue. But it was a really, really big issue. And the kids, they're all together, they go out together, they're, they're dating together, they're, you know, they go out for social nights together. The relation between them is very, very, it's good. And I hope it continues for the rest of the young people of Glengormley Town. It never goes back to the way it was.